democracy has no morality democracy has no ethics democracy has no religion democracy has no spirituality democracy has no nothing that it believes in democracy has no family democracy has no children democracy has no wives democracy has no economy democracy has no respect for anything in fact if you look around the democratic system what makes it even very very spurious and very complicated is that they say that we are democratic you are free and the first person who must be free in any democratic system is the individual so right let's start right there if the individual is free the individual is free to what the individual is free to be themselves the individual is free to to, to govern to think to express themselves as individuals but alas when you look at all the democratic system the individual is not free i beg to differ there's no african person who can say that this is our democracy because the very concept of democracy is not owned by black people it is a foreign plant on the african soil when they say we are democratic and we are free we are free to what we are free to act like whites we are free to eat like whites we are free to worship like whites we are free to dance like whites we are free to buy like whites we are free to work like whites we are free to be educated like whites we are free to suffer while white people are supervising the suffering and that is democracy you are free to vote but you don't vote for your own freedom you vote so that some few people that have been elected by a system which is being governed by another system which is being sponsored by another system must run the common people and have access to resources of those countries they call this democracy in africa i beg to challenge every politician out there who has got a better explanation that democracy will work on african ground please come forward and challenge me on that we can say that we are free but our freedom is rotting is eating is cankering is destroying is vandalizing our own systems we are simply an audience that is floating in the midst of a system that is being managed by those who have resources i want to say it very clearly that poor people have no choices poor people have no choices choices are for the rich people so show me a democratic system that allows common people to be rich no democracy is actually a fine-tuned system of capitalism with some small little elements of socialism and a little bit here and there of some high hierarchical and cultural tolerance but democracy in all honesty is not a system that was built by africans to be maintained by africans to be assumed by africans our form of governance as africans is ubuntu ubuntu is our governance i am because you are it does not make sense that Africa can have so much, so many resources, yet Africa still languishes in poverty. We have banks that we don't own. We have education systems that we don't own. We have curriculums that we never wrote. We have political parties that don't service our own interest as people. We have passports they don't give us access to other countries. They have access to our countries. We don't have access into their own countries. And that's supposed to be democracy. They have embassies in our own countries, and yet they put the same countries in sanctions. What sort of a system are we talking about if we are to be addressing the issues of African democracy? African democracy is a crippled child who is sitting on a wheelchair, a paraplegic wheelchair. In as much as our countries are claimed to be democratic, they are not free at all. Our economies are ruled by the West. Our education is ruled by the West. Our medicine is given by the West. Our diseases are managed by the West. Our populations are managed by the West. Our technologies are, are imposed on us by the West. So which part of us can you say is democracy? The same countries, they sponsor a government. They sponsor a surrogate government. The government gets into power. After they're in power, then you put the same government in sanctions again. What do they want from us? These colonizers. What do they want from us?